What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee, and uh, it's time for Ask Yee. I got the whole panel here. <laughs> Chella H, Jasmine Brand, and Mano are here, and 800-292-5150 is the number. Any question you have, we are led by the award-winning advice giver, y- Mano. Yes, I am. I'm, I give the greatest advice. And uh, Renzo is on the line. What's up, Renzo? Not much. How y'all doing today? Hey. Hey. What up? All right, so what is your question for Ask Yee? Well, okay, it just changed. Well, okay, first things first, I just want to tell you, co-host, happy birthday, because mine is on Thursday. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Happy early birthday. Okay, yeah, ha- Happy early birthday, yeah. Thank you. So, birthday to us, birthday's up. Yep. Um, so, at first, it was about to be personal, but I guess it's, I guess it's leaning more towards professional. So, I've been listening to you for a long time. Congratulations, by the way, because I was listening to you while you were on The Breakfast Club and everything like that. Thank and I you. love your show. Mano, I think, Mano, I did not know that you were this funny. Oh, I listen to you guys all good the time. Looking. I had no clue for that. Good book. looking, Rizzo. But, okay, man, Vader. Thank you, Rizzo. <laughs> no problem. But basically, so right now I'm in a, a career field of, like, logistics. Mm-hmm. But this isn't, like, the career field for me. Like, this is pretty much just to make ends me. I went through the military in this field and everything like that. But I actually want to leave this and in, in more, like, into, like, public relations and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And with you being a journalist, what... I guess what steps would you tell someone who is still like really green, really new to the whole to the field? Ooh, this is good for Jasmine because you own a, the JasmineBrand.com, which is an entertainment site, and you're always looking for journalists mm-hmm. and writers. Mm-hmm. But he's, he wants to do PR. No, he wants to be. I mean, do you, do you want to do PR or do you want to write? Because well, I think in order to do PR, you have to know how to write of also. You do. I mean, I'm a great writer. I mean, I don't want to do my own horn. I didn't mean it's cut, for it to come out like that. But I'm a pretty good writer. Would but you... I, I would like to work more in, like, PR. See? And be able to pitch. What's a good pitch, Jasmine? Like, how do people pitch to you if they don't know you, you don't know them? Scandal. Um, if he's trying to pitch himself to, to do PR or pitch a client? Like, trying to pitch a, a client to you. Well, it has to make sense. So, like, it has to, if the, if he has a client that fits with, some of the stuff that some of the stuff we cover for the Jasmine brand, it just has to it just has to make sense. What type of PR do you want to do? I'm sorry, what was that? What type of PR do you want to do? Um I would like to do I'm trying to think of what's a good word for it, or good good like word for it. Because what I would like to do is a little more flashy. Like I like to be able okay, for example, for the Jasmine brand, like mm-hmm. what if I found someone else who uh, has a great design for like jackets or something like that and I bring it to you and that way like when the winter time comes around again now we got another line of jackets or anything like that mm-hmm. so something where I'm kind of helping somebody else for the most part something, so you want to help businesses you want to help business owners get more PR for their brands more awareness yes exactly marketing okay do you have any ideas for like clients that you could get because I also feel like you have to build your portfolio Mm -hmm. and so in order to do that you need to like at least start working so that you can say i represent this person that person here's what i've done maybe you could start with like navy Mm. or you could start with like a if you have a friend that needs some help yeah Yeah, that has a business that needs some help Mm -hmm. okay you think about it like that because like the little things that i do that i've done the last couple years it's been like little like small things so like i've just helped people like promote their parties or something like that or yeah i guess that was kind of like the level like yeah. helping people kind of like promote their parties or anything like that or just like putting stuff on instagram or telling other people what you just they have to make do it... or like how renzo you got to just be more organized about it so that you have a port so that you have like something that you can show because i think as you're trying to pitch to more clients you need to be able to first of all build relationships with the people that you're going to need to get press from mm-hmm. so if that means like reaching out attending events going to uh, different conferences so that you can network and meet people because PR is all about knowing people and being able to pitch those people who you know right and making right? sure it's a good fit too. yeah and making sure that you can actually send things that are interesting because it is also the way that you present it right and then I think um, the main thing for you is to try to get a couple of clients and look it might be on a basis of you give them a reduced price to start with you you know a monthly retainer for three months okay and then show them what it is that you can do because you are still new at this so this is something that you're building but you you know you want to make sure that you have a client base and something solid that you can show people when you're trying to pitch to get new clients would you also feel like it may be for like location too because i feel like when i was in the military and i was traveling 
I was able to do a whole lot more, put my hands on a lot of different things. But once I got out and I came back home and the dust kind of settled from the military, it was just, I'm back home. Like, I'm back in the same, like... Where do you live? Where, I, where, where are you? Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, I love Jacksonville. But, you know, you can always move around. I mean, look, Art Basel's happening in Miami coming yeah. up. And, you know, that's a huge, huge event. If it means investing in going out there and meeting people and networking and doing what you do. But I think the main thing for you, because a lot of stuff does get done virtually right yeah, now. Yeah, you don't have to be in the same You don't city. have to be there yet. But I think the main thing is get yourself a couple of clients who you can work okay. with that need the help. Pitch to them. That way you can also build up your Rolodex. Does anybody have a Rolodex? In no. All right. Well, you we can got, build it. You know what, you know what I mean. Yeah. Your contacts. Mental roll it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got to build. Okay. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you guys taking out the time to give me that advice. Sure. All right, Renzo. Listen, build it up. Come back to us. We might need some PR. Yeah, you never. That's okay. I'll email you my resume. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. All right. Well, that was Ask Ye. 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, you can always leave a message. And when we come back, Sam J is going to be joining us. Comedian. Amazing. She has a special out right now, Salute Me or Shoot Me. Okay? Mm, Very dramatic. But that is my girl. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Sam J is next.